What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again, man. Tony Digital, bringing back another 4K visual. Back at it like a motherfucking crack addict with a very special video today, guys, on my top 10 sneakers for back to school. Now look, man, yeah, I'm old, I ain't got school no more, but I know a lot of you guys have been in the comment sections day after day asking like, Tony, what are some dope sneakers that I could pick up to get fresh in middle school, high school, college, whatever. I've been there before, so I know the feeling, trust me. I was really gonna wait onto this video till I hit up my mom yesterday. I said, mom, when does uh, Dre and Alexis start school, my little brother and sister? And she told me this upcoming Monday. Next Monday, people are going back to school already. So I was like, shit. I gotta get this video out ASAP Rocky. Now I know usually when I do these videos guys, some of the stuff might be out of your price range. So if you do like this video and would like to see one of these under $100 top 10 sneakers back to school under $100, as a follow up video tomorrow, day after tomorrow, make sure to spam a like and comment down below if you would like to see more and I'll try to put together a list for sneakers under $100 for you guys out there. So without further ado guys, sit back, relax, enjoy some snacks, and let's get straight into it, man. My top 10 back to school sneakers for 2018. Let's get it. Coming in at number 10, guys, is the Nike Harachi. Now, preferably the low, which retails is up to $110 but you can find them pretty much everywhere for below. The max you'll be paying is $110. Me, myself, right now, I do not have a pair of those right now, but I did make a custom, which is somewhere put up in my tons of shoes that I still have to go through and add to this wall. I mean, I have so many sneakers right now, the guys, that it's hard to find certain shoes at the moment. But the Hirachi, it's somewhere faded away. It was very, very popular back in 2015. But at the end of the day, it's just like a shoe that comes back and recycles and recycles because the original Hirachi is really a sneaker from the 90s. So it just comes back every once in a while. But you could pick up a pair, like I said, for $110 in white, black, or you can find a dope colorway. But the Hirachi is still a classic sneaker that I think you can really match up and wear back to school. I don't, I, I still give it praise. That's why I added to this list. I couldn't take it off. But it is a sneaker that is somewhat there's other sneakers that are better now, but you want a good price point sneaker to Hirachi in a good colorway, you can find that pretty much everywhere. And it looks dope on feet, so I had to put that at number 10. Next up, guys, is the Adidas Ultra Boost. Now, you're going to be spending a little hefty here at $180 max. You could probably get for lower. They might be going for more than $180, really, if you find some that are a very hyped or collaboration or somewhat. You know, Adidas Ultra Boost tends to be a little hefty, you know what I'm saying? It is another sneaker that there's been so many iterations that it's like what the Adidas 4.0 now that I feel like over time the the popularity of the Ultra Boost has somewhat slightly died down. But overall, I mean it feels like Mary Poppins on your ball sack that you're stepping on clouds of Kush. So it's a good sneaker that feels good on your feet and then the uppers feel like silicone pussy. So you're gonna have a nice warm fit like a condom when you have this shoe on. So comfortability, they still have tons of different colorways. And I still think it's a dope sneaker that you can rock with with the right type of jeans. So I still had to add it to this list. However, the Ultra Boost, there are other newer models out right now that I feel like you guys would like. If you're still an Ultra Boost guy though, feel free to comment down below. Like I said, I feel like there's still a prominent sneaker in Adidas catalog, but there's newer Adidas models out now that you may see more of in a higher demand or popularity wise. So I still put it on my list. However, it is, like I said, more Adidas sneakers out there for a lower cost that are more popular that you'll see down the list. But yeah, number nine, Ultra Boost on the Poos. Coming in at number eight, guys, like I stated before, another Adidas sneaker that I myself really, really love. This is, I had I added this to my list as a popular demand on my own. Like, I, I made this on the list. I try to be somewhat unbiased, but I had to put the Adidas Young One on the list. Now, these retail at $120. It's that real nice, chunky type of sneaker. A lot of people tend to hate on the chunky vibes, but you know what? Chunky sneakers give that retro vibe of the 1990s, 1980s type of sneaker style that are out there. So any old school cat, any OG or any old dude out there that's hating on a young cat that wants to rock a chunky sneaker, they need to check themselves at the end of the day because this is what they were wearing. You look at the, you look at anything that was coming out in the 80s and 90s, it was them old Nike pump, fat pumped up sneakers and this is what is coming back and so it's kind of a hypocritical statement. So don't listen to what anybody's saying. If you like it, 
I love it at the end of the day. I like these sneakers overall. The retail, like I said, is 120. You can't beat it. There hasn't been many colorways that have released on these yet, so I'm looking forward to seeing more and more. I like that I have not worn this pair yet, but the other pair that I did a review on, the red and navy blue and white, those retail at 120. You probably can get them on sale down the road, but it's a dope looking sneaker by Adidas, comfortable, and I had to give it a thumbs up, man. And I had to put it at number seven, straight up, no hate. Another sneaker from Puma that I had to bring on the list, man. I've been loving it. They've been killing it this year. The Puma Thunder Electric. You can also say the Thunder Spectra, but the Electric is phenomenal. I love the way this shoe looks, man. Nice, chunky vibes. It's dope. It sits nice on the pants. $120 retail, which is very, very low and nice for you guys out there. A lot of people might not like the Puma, but I like it. It's at the end of the day, it's what you like. Don't listen to what other people say. But I just, me, myself, I like the materials, the mesh. The mesh has a cauliflower pussy feel to it. You have the leathers, the uppers, the vinyls. It's a mixture of all things above. And I'm really, I'm really feeling it, man. Puma's been on a killing this year. And I expect to see more and more coming from them. And at these price points, you can't hate on it. If you want the chunky vibes, once again, like the Adidas, this is another one, another alternative. It's kind of hard to find which one you want to do because they both are priced at $120. So I'll let you guys pick that one at the end of the day. It's up to you. But this is the last one of the Chunky Vibes that you'll see on this list coming at number, what, six? The Puma Thunder Electric. Once again, back at it like a motherfucking crack addict. Adidas with the Adidas POD system. Now this is Adidas's, I, I, Adidas's, is that how you say it? Adidas their entry market of boost. You're gonna get these for $120. They have a nice look to them. They're, I guess you would say, like I said, the, I don't know if you would say the Hirachi of the Nike, but, cause you got boost. You got boost on the heel that gives a lot of nice cushioning. You have that silicone pussy upper that makes a really nice snug fit and they look dope on feet. I did a review, which you could check out the on feet on these. I love these shoes right here, man. I can't wait to see more and more come out. I wear the all black friends and family pair almost each and every day as a just slip on and keep it moving sneaker. They feel comfortable on feet. They're very nice and breathable for the summer. And maybe for the fall, they'll have some other materials come out, whether it be suede, leather, who knows? I know a lot is coming, even the prime knit upper. So I'm looking forward more and more with the Adidas POD system. If you don't really fuck with it or you're iffy about it, go to Adidas, go to Foot Locker, try to find somewhere where you can try these on and see for yourself. But I think for Boost, how expensive it is. You know, Adidas Ultra Boost, the whole Boost bottom is gonna cost you 180 bucks. I feel like for this, at $120, you could give it a shot and try it out. You won't be disappointed, but just make sure you go with a colorway that you like. Some of you guys might not like this neon nutsack colorway, so just try something that you like, you feel what I'm saying? But number five, Adidas POD system. My bad guys, that was actually number six. My numbers might be fucked up, and that's because I'm a retarded ass motherfucker. Forgive me. Coming in at number five is the Jordan 1 automatic, retail 160. Kinda up again, kinda up again the price point. However, you can find Jordans for lower prices everywhere. I mean, the yin and yangs were going for 120. Go to your local outlet, you can get them for 90 bucks. Anything down below that I can find deals for you on these sneakers, I would try to link down below. So like each one will be 10, 9, 8, 7, like that. For the Jordan 1, I will link to you some Jordan 1s on sale. Now make sure you get the OG. Don't get the mid, okay? Unless it's the new love, you can pass with that. But go with the OG. Don't go with the mid. It's just not the way to go. You need to go with the OG Jordan 1, what Jordan wore. Right here we got a top 10 gold. This is a dope sneaker that goes for a little bit more than a 160 on a resale market. But you can find Jordan 1s that are dope, like the sale ones, for below that at 160 and below, no problem. Just look, just go in and look, or just like I said, look down below in the description, or go to Twitter. You can find Jordan 1 sitting everywhere easily. It's a dope sneaker you put on, it's almost indestructible. It won't ever break down on you. Just get the right colorway, and you'll be good to go, and you got a pair of classics on your feet going in to school year. Trust me, trust me. Tony Too Wild approved, Jordan 1. Coming in at number four is a juggle now. This is a juggle. We're gonna slide in two on this one, okay? Just bear with me. Number four, we're gonna put the Vapor Max. Wow! Now we're going in a high 190 price point with these sneakers. I know, I know we already did the Ultra Boost, but if you got some money on deck and you want comfortability, you want that nice, comfortable, casual look, a Vapor Max is a good way to go. And if you wanna spend a little bit less, the Vapor Max 
Plus is a good way to go. You're gonna get like an Air Max Plus with a Vapor Max bottom right here. I believe, let me see, I wrote it down below. These are 190, you get these for around 170. Now you might be able to find different price sales on these right here, but I feel like either way, you're really good to go. I love the Vapor Max in general, not too much of a fan of the 2.0. But you can find some dope 2.0s here and there. But the Vapor Max 1.0 is a dope sneaker, comfortable wise, breathable. You got the Taylor Swift nut sacks on the upper. You got the Vapor Max balls on the bottom. And then on the plus, you're just good to go on these, man. They got multiple different colorways that you can make pop. And it is what it is. I really like the Vapor Max Plus. It's a dope sneaker to be, you know, pulling out. And to this day, I'm still rocking these. I This is my only colorway, though. I didn't pick up the black pair. I like these a lot, though. Trust me. Try a pair. If you hate it. You know, keep it moving. But at the end of the day, a Vapor Max in the collection is basically the equivalent to what the Ultra Boost was a couple years ago. I feel like the Vapor Max still wins over the Ultra Boost right now. That's just my personal opinion, though. So don't hate me. Don't chop my nuts off. You know, keep it pushing. Number four. Coming in at number three now, we're back, kind of trying to get back to some budgets for you guys. At 160, I've talked about this numerous times the Air Max 270. Now this sneaker right now, I feel like is a very mid base budget sneaker. You're not on the low side of the 120s with you know the PODs and all that stuff, but you're not on the high side with the Ultra Boost and the Vapor Maxes. You're right in the middle around at 150 to 160 for the Nike Air Max 270. You got a nice casual sneaker. I probably could finesse this. The colorways, are, these colors are kind of slightly on deck. Would you give me the pass or no? On this T-shirt right here, this you know, this this yellow with the red and this yellow with the, you got a little bit of red, but it's more so on the punch. Would you let me pass? Would you let me pass? I would like to know down below, or would you not let me pass? I mean, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. However, this shoe, dope. I love it. The 270 has been a breakthrough model for me personally. How long it will survive? We'll have to see. We'll have to see what they do with it. I feel like they have a lot of potential with this shoe. Let me lace this up. It's bothering me. Hold on. I had to fix it up. It was bothering me. But I feel like this shoe has so much potential, but they're not doing enough with it. They're just throwing colorways. Nike, do something. Do a collaboration. Do something different. I don't know. Do something with it and give it some hype. Give it something. Give it some, like a suede, upper, leather. I don't know. And now forgive me. I said hype. No, I'm not a fucking hype beast. I'm just saying, do something to get some hype on this shoe. Because otherwise, it's going to die out and you guys will pass on. I feel like they missed out on the Nike, the Nike Flyknit Ultra. That was a great opportunity to keep that shoe. You know, but they didn't really put effort and R and D into the shoe, and it died out, and you can't buy them no more. They're dead. But overall, I love this sneaker. That's why I had to put it at number three. Did I put it at number three? Let me see. I put it at number three. Yep, three. Coming in at number two, guys, you're gonna hate me because I don't have my pair with me right now. Vans, Vans in general. Whether you want to wear slip-ons, which I really don't wear, but the skate highs, I have a pair of skate highs in my closet. Their canvas wax, they're dope as fuck. I just can't get to them. Like I, I kind of hate it, but I might be moving anyway, so it's a good thing that these shoes are already put up. But I'm gonna get to them one day. Trust me. A pair of Vans, you'll be good to go. You're gonna be spending around 60 bucks. It's really affordable. I would also have put Converse in here, but I feel like Vans rule the world right now. Converse, they're iconic. So they, they, they just put the con. Put Vans and Converse in the, in, the, in the mix with this number two, even though I really say Vans because there's just so many colorways and they're dope sneakers. You can wear the skate highs, you can wear the slip-ons, you can wear the classics. It's so many different types of Vans and they're all gonna go for 60 bucks. And Vans, they, since early 2005, they have been straight just going. There has been no die out in them. They've been around since the 80s. But they picked their steam back up after got my Vans on, but they look like sneak. I remember when I rocked Vans in 2006 in Atlanta, Georgia at my freshman year of high school. And people were looking at me like, what the fuck are you wearing? The reason why I went and wore them though and got them was because I went out to Cali where I'm initially from. I went to go fin uh, go you know visit my family out there. And they were everybody was rocking Vans. So I grabbed me a pair of Vans and I brought it out to Atlanta. And in 2006, 2005, I think one of them years, Everybody was looking at me like, what the hell? Like, you're lame. They thought that was lame, but now everybody rocking. So that's a little quick story about Vans. Number two, you know what to do, man. Automatic, pimp aesthetic. Coming in at number one, Air Force One. Preferably the Air Force One Low. You're going to get those at a retail at $90 and a mids at $100. The Air Force One was the sneaker for me in high school, college, middle school to bring to your first day of school. That's the shoe that you brought out. And you're definitely gonna have to keep them things crispy. Follow up video that I got coming out for you guys out there. 
So stay tuned for that. Get the bell clicked and all that. How to keep your sneakers clean is coming very, very shortly. I'm shooting that video tomorrow as well. But yeah, man, the Air Force Ones, you had to step in with a fresh pair of forces on deck. And I know till this day that in Atlanta, all my young bucks out in Atlanta, all my little homies in the streets, they rocking Air Force Ones on their first day of high school, okay? I don't give a fuck what you say. Don't talk to me. Don't at me. It's done, okay? Any, any of my youngins in Atlanta, in, the, in Atlanta, in the South, they got a fresh pair of Air Forces ready to go right now. Them bitches are crit them bitches are sitting on top of their TV right now and they just they staying and looking at them. They waiting. They don't they not even touching. They are they already they already on deck. And if you ain't got them on deck, you need to go get that check. You feel what I'm saying? Check. You feel what I'm saying? So number one, we're gonna put it at the Air Force One. Automatic pip and static once again. You already know what it is. Check them out. So yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video Make sure you slap a like comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new And if you would like to see the top 10 under $100 spam that like make sure you comment that down below And I'm gonna see you guys on the next video. It's your boy Tony D2 wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out. I love you guys, man. Peace